Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. If you heard someone right now in the intro, then that was our, my co-commentator, fucking Matt from MTW. We are here for Game 2 of the Star Ladder Land Final, Grand Final of the Star Ladder Grand Final. Navi vs. Mouseboard, second game. Navi up 2 and 0. Just won the first game, came in from the winner's bracket with a whoop in 1 game advantage. Now it's a 2-0. They win this one, they win the whole freaking thing. So, uh, we are here. We're in the draft. No, we're actually just loading in. And let me welcome... Fucking mad, what's up? Yeah, thanks again for having me on this cast. And um, well, I'm looking forward to the third game, especially looking forward to what Mouse can do to turn this game around and maybe get themselves a comeback in this series. They need this badly now, so yeah, hopefully they can do it. Oh, the draft, look at that, so quickly. Puppy again setting the pace of this draft. We saw that last That's game. Okay. After, before the two picks that uh, 1437 had, and, uh, let's say uh, after the two picks he had like 18 seconds left on the bonus time. So Puppy playing some good mind games all game long. Same with uh, Havost. They picked a PA last game. If you haven't seen that one, then I spoiled you saying that they won with a PA. And she was farming top as well. Like, And there was not even any support in the vicinity. She was on the enemy side, on their lane, farming their creeps. And most words thought, man... Havas won't be so stupid. This must be a bait. He would not be farming like this if there weren't like four teammates uh, right there. And uh, they weren't. So those are the mind games that uh, Matt basically told us a lot about. I learned a lot with these casts. So again, thanks for being here. And uh, well, the draft is done. We're picking. Extremely fast bans by both captains actually. So now we're already in the picking phase in the Broodmother firstly for Mouse. They love this Broodmother. And Navi... They must know because they saw Mouse playing before. They even played versus them before, and they don't care. They just let them root mother. So let's see how they counter this. Yeah, Shadow Demon will probably put many points into Shadow Poison as well, just to counteract. Um, what do you think? Is it going to be like one level disruption and then Soul Catcher and Shadow Poison? Might be, but I, I think Shadow Demon will just skill the, skill his like spells regardless of the root mother, and they will. Pick a comfort to the Broodmother right after the mouse. Pick the two next heroes for them. So they should pick then, a Tidehunter and a Sand King now. Yeah, something like this. But I think that mouse would pick the Sand King. It's very, very likely. Usually when you get Broodmother and they don't get the chance to get the counter right after, yeah, this is what, this is what they do. You just get get it. Like, I mean, I mean, mouse they can play Sand King, so it's not really a problem for them. Okay, and that's really, really risky from Navi because now they they basically say, you know what, your Broodmother, we don't care. We don't need a counter to it. We can play without any Broodmother counter, and I'm not sure because a really good Broodmother player, she can rape a lane one versus three without any sort of help if she, if they have nothing to unpush him. So and Mouse actually they're not banning all the Broodmother counters, and by counter do just mean AOE, uh, reliable, reliable AOE and spammable spell like Tyranter and Ancient Smile, for example, or Beast Masters axes, something like this. Well, you know, man, it appears that, that Puppy was, he was so quick on the pick with Rubik that either he didn't give a crap about what Mouse Sports picked, or he knew that Enigma was going to get picked up and knew that Rubik is such a good counter for Enigma, because the black hole is easily stolen, and uh, Dendi it plays is. a sick Rubik. He will get that black hole for sure, so uh, come with me. But he, man, we will again see this earlier in the tournament. Mouse boards also went up against Navi and Kamuthi played such a good Enigma. We'll see it again. And uh, we'll again see a Dendi Rubik and he will again steal uh, these these black holes. He will have a blink dagger and if Kamuthi does not disable Rubik with a black hole, then he can rest assured that Dendi will counter them ASAP. Yeah, and that's the thing about Navi. Uh, we, we talked yesterday, I believe, that there were different... Um, way of, of drafting and of banning and some teams they ban the key heroes of the opponents and it's fair enough I mean why would you bother playing against I don't know Darkseer for Mouse or even Chen for Puppy you know or I, I don't know so you just ban whatever you can and whatever you know they play really good but Navi they don't care they never ban they, they just ban standard every game they, they it's really rare for them that they ban a key hero from the opponent because like we call it a respect ban you know it's like it's okay, I will just ban your hero because I know you play it really well and you might win only because you have it. And it never happens with Navi. Like, they will give Enigma 10 times in a row if they 
unless they feel like it's a top ban, like like an or Darkster, else they will just give it away every game. Mm -hmm. Rubik, he's a twitchy one, just moving himself back and forth. Second ban phase done. Mouse was banning out there. Kunka do not want to give that combination away. It's so potent. The darks, uh, the shadow. So so both bans used for the setups with shadow demons. So in the last game, Navi. Uh, prevented this by just banning the Shadow Demon, and in this game, Mouse has to ban both uh, counter pieces. Uh, in case you don't know, guys, just quickly, the disruption sets up the Lesh Rack Stun or the Kunkka Torrent. That is what the combination is all about. And last game, Navi just banned out the Shadow Demon, and this game, Mouse Wars bans out both other pieces because Navi already has the Shadow Demon. Now again, a Tide Hunter picked up for Navi, so they also have a big team fight ultimate of themselves. Puppy will be there with the Hand of God as well as a mech, so much heal coming out of Navi as well and Dandy will have to make sure that the second big teamfight ultimate will be there as well via that spell steal. And here we go, Black will play an anti-mage. So what they have right now is a Broodmother on a solo lane. They will... uh... well, what are, what are they gonna do, man? How is Mouse gonna lane this? Yeah, and that's the thing about Mossport and about 1437 because I guess he is the guy um, deciding and Juggernaut pick. I love this pick from Navi, it's a really nice pickup. And yeah, Mossport, what I wanted to say is that they're really unpredictable when it comes to the laning. Uh, they decide to, to, like, yeah, to lane because they, they can send any, they can put Broodmother easy lane as well and Enigma is in the jungle and bait Navi into thinking that Bulmother is gonna hard lane, and then you get a Tide Hunter versus an anti mage maiden, and your anti mage is free farming, and the Navi is Chen and aggressive trident like with Chen, Shadow Demon, and Juggernaut will just fail against Bulmother because of the movement speed of the Bulmother. I mean, the laning phase is gonna be really, really, really important for Mouseport and for Navi. So I I'm pretty sure Mouseport will try to to brain Navi in the in the, this state of the game. Okay, so Black will be playing Anti-Mage, come with me again on Enigma, we're looking forward to his black hole, Sing Sing on the Brute Mother, interesting stuff, Sexy Bambo on the Sand King, and 1437 on the support Crystal Maiden again. What about, what about Navi? Yeah, for Navi we have Dendi on the Rubik, no surprise, he's gonna be solo mid most likely, Puppy on the Chen, uh, AA, uh, also known as Osmo Art, Art, Art sorry, on the Shadow Demon, Light of Heaven playing the Tyrant Hunter, and Hobos playing the Juggernaut. And uh, yeah, we see black on the middle lane, so that's most for again. They will play probably, or actually, they're switching the lanes. Looks like. Sing oh, Sing is Navi. Left. They might find themselves a hopeless little crystal maiden right now. They will rotate around. Light of Heaven has to get into rate for that gush. He does not put that skill point into it now. Man, that shows what. I, oh, now he has it in. But Crystal Maid might be safe. They are continuing though. All oh, a few more steps, and then he will be able to gush. He keeps on going, but I don't think he will go for it. I don't think he will go for it. One, four, three, seven gets into the woods. And Navi has to turn around. So almost a first blood here for Navi, uh, provided that Light of Heaven would have landed that gush. Now he's guilted. Maybe he would have gone for uh, Anchor Smash something first. But now he has a gush, and he will have to deal with it until he levels up again. Okay, I don't know if Come With Me knows that Navi awarded his jungle, but he's heading to the to the Dyrus jungle, and that's a really smart decision from him. If he's okay, if he's gonna okay, maybe he's not gonna do this because you see the work by Navi on the little spot. This will slow Enigma's jungle a lot, like really, really a lot. And that's why Company is maybe trying to, to leave his woods. Again, really smart laning from Mouse, but you can expect them from them. They did it before and they're gonna do it again. Broodmother will be laning against Juggernaut, Shadow Demon, and, and Puppy's Chen. It's gonna be really hard for them to keep Broodmother, or at least it should be. And Broodmother, Broodmother will just XP safely. And Chen King and Silent is gonna be fine because of the Caustic. You can see that he used he's killed Caustic level one already, so he should be winning his lane big time. And same goes for mid lane. So AM sh and CM should be able to to kill Rubik even if he plays aggressive or if he's not playing really safe. So great laning by Mouseport. And even the Enigma in the jungle, the jungle, so he can put a gank on Rubik mid or even put a gank top. So. Yeah. Most sports should have the advantage. Very good stuff. Do you think Navi will react to this and uh, have they Light will. Heaven? They will, yeah. No doubt. They, they will react, that's for sure. Puppy, you can you might see Puppy ganking mid or even rotating to the, his jungle. You can see it already come with me. They want to kill Bendy mid and he's 
really afraid because because Navi knows that Papi, uh, that sorry, come with me is not. You can see the pings coming out from Papi. And he they doesn't even. They, he, the they don't even have vision on it. He, he just experienced telling him. Yeah, he knows because they have a ward in Kabuzmi's jungle. I mean, he, it was supposed to be his jungle, so they know he's not there. So him and they know that he speed. They can see his level two, so they know he's farming the Daryl jungle. So they know that then the mid he can't even go XP, and that's really hard for him. So imagine if you guys from MTW were on most board side right now, you would know that Navi will react to this, and they will probably switch lanes and switch yeah, Tidehunter onto uh, the Broodmother lane. What would be something that you guys could do? to profit off of this map movement that Navi would have to do? What? Uh, just see them relating. And when, when they do, because obviously you don't know what they would do exactly, so when they decide, then you take your decision in consequence, you know, but for Mouseport for now, they're winning all the lanes. They have nothing to do. They have perfect lanes. And Navi is out lane. So they just need to wait and see and farm. That's the only thing they have to do. Even top, I mean, even top, it's not an easy lane for them. Senting is pushing his lane, and Enigma can stop, and they're ringing on him already. He might die. Oh, that die. Evan on the top lane looks in trouble. Yeah, that it is. Right there. Two more auto attacks. That's going to do the job. Bambo cannot dive anymore. Come with me. Diving him as well, though. He's following him to the jungle. This is now the point in time where Na'Vi will this need a game. good uh, support TP. And there it is. I hear it coming. Arizard is here. Not having eats his way through the trees. He might survive. Good disruption. He attacks Bambo. Might drop. He's waiting for the stun. There it goes. Light Heaven. Drops with the first blood for Mouse Sports this time, and Arizard looks in big trouble as well. There's not much he can do. He's all about just running away, and now s this will be a second kill, most likely. One more auto attack. Double kill for Sand King. Many things happened. I mean, they, they dove the tower. I don't think it's a good decision. Maybe the, it, it was a good decision in the end because Light of Heaven had no self. So he couldn't regen his HPs. And that's maybe maybe most people knew it, and that was just a good play. Also, big mistake by Combs. Me, he was um, bringing in the chicken, the donkey, to the top lane, and the chicken just dove the tower with them. So it, it also I just killed it, and that's a big deal for a team in early game because in Dota 2 you can't create another chicken. So they will play with other courier for two minutes and a half, and it's also one K going the way of Navi. Still, it's the double kill top, really nice play from them. Okay, but yeah, there you go, man. The goal advantage is still in favor of Navi now, only because of that courier. Holy crap. There's and that's the problem for the Navi bottom lane. They can't kill Sing Sing. Look, he's just XPing next to them. He doesn't care. And Navi are trying to push the tower. That's the right decision, but still. Good mother is fine. She's even farming a bit for CS. It's decent, I guess. Oh, man. Sing Sing. He tried to use his nuke to get the spiderlings out of the Ursa. But he miscommunicated the damage there, and he's going to look for a deny as well. Pings go out, they want to get this happen, and Chen gets the last hit, and Sing Sing, to no avail. Arizard is here with the sentry, drops it, now it gets visible, but Sing Sing is out of it, but now he will not be visible anymore, there goes the net, so he should be fine, Havas is here, only on level 4. Oh, but the burst damage with the soul catcher, it is enough damage, Sing Sing drops, the brute mother dies on the bottom lane, and the tier 1 is also down for Navi, so they are imp getting even more of a little advantage right now. And that's a nice play because that was without vision. They have no sentry on this spot, so that was really blind, blind the spin by Jerono. Nice play from Navi. Yeah. Well, um, after he came out of the uh, disruption, he was still visible long enough for also Chen to nuke him down too. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He was visible for half a second, maybe. Some very, very good exactly. burst damage here. Come with me now using his last, his last clarity potion, and the pings go out. They want to dive him still, but there goes the net. The cooldown is quick enough on a level 2 net, and uh, Navi is still pressuring the tier 2. Mouse Wars will have to react to this. And that's the same, it's the same story again. Navi gets towers because, maybe because they push, maybe because Mouse Wars doesn't care about the towers. I don't know, for me you should defend your towers against Navi because it's gonna be the same story again. And they go on, okay no they don't. It's gonna be the same story again. They get the towers, they get the advantage, and then they snowball. Man, 1.37, he's very, very much living on the edge, man. Havas has phase boots. What are you doing going in so close? Down goes uh, 1437 there. That's a kill that shouldn't go to Navi right now. One thing that's, that shouldn't happen is that Sexy Bongo is going back. Light of Heaven is back on his lane and he's winning it. And he really shouldn't. Yeah. Because he got, a, he got killed by the Enigma, so Sexy Bongo should have the advantage on his lane top. And you see him, he has to run back all the way to the base. Yeah. Okay, well I guess that uh, actually 1437 didn't have vision there of, of uh, Jagger, so... He didn't know about the danger he was in. 
And actually, again, for Sexy Bamboo, he had to run back because of the chicken, actually. That's why he couldn't bring himself a, a, a south to regenerate his, his HP. He had to run back and he wasted lots of time. Both of them. Sexy Bamboo on level 7. That happened on level 6. TP coming in from Puppy. He's got some burst damage. No true sight on either hero on top, though, so I don't know what they're trying to do. Dandy in the middle lane, level 5. Let's do a quick check here of the last hits as well. 30 on Light of Heaven, 18 on Dendi, 38 on Hovost, now 39, and 33 on Black. So it's all looking very strong on the bottom line, actually. Sankin gets killed Light of Heaven on top, but Hovost on the bottom lane, also in big trouble. My two, yes, two Navi heroes drop, one on top, one on bottom. Yeah, and mid, the Arst Art is making Black's life very difficult with the disruption and the mana burn from the illusions. And actually, yeah, then he got the blink for himself, so now he's safe, now he can easily. He can just blink out, like in AM would, would do. And yeah, really good pickup by 60 on the top, 1 versus 2 basically. Good kill from him. Yeah, interesting, he went up against Chen and Tidehunter and got a kill there with the epicenter. But, and I haven't even used his ultimate, so how did he, how did he get it through? Thing is, if you stun with Sand King, okay, they're going on him. I'm gonna wait for this. They got a Sentry as well. I think he's dead, unless he jukes, but and he's juking actually. He's gonna get out. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get out. Awesome play by Sixty Bumble. Man, that was good stuff. But but the combination from if if Puppy didn't block the way there, and uh, Light of Heaven could have moved to where Puppy was standing. Yeah, exactly. That anchor smash would have totally killed him. The casting plan from Epicenter. Uh, it's uh, I guess two seconds. Yeah, it's two seconds before uh, before you the damage is dealt, and the burst strike is two seconds and fifteen, like in fifteen. Uh, uh, what is it? Like a little bit more than two seconds, let's say. So you have the time to cast your, your stun and cast the epicenter. Nobody can, like the stun guy can't break it. So ravage is not enough. They, he needs someone else to break the and they're going to it up. Oh, understood. Okay, I didn't even know that, man. Now, Sex Bamboo is in big trouble. Goes down. They have True Side right underneath that tower. Puppy, very low on HP as well. Support TP coming in. Light of Heaven TP's out. Is it going to be in time? Yes, it is. He was actually out of vision for Come With Me. That's so crazy. How is that possible? Yeah, awesome. Awesome jokes by both fighters. Like, Sexy Bamboo just did the same top, and now it's Light of Heaven's turn. And oh. then he kills. <laughs> Poor Prisa Maiden. I mean, no boots. Oh, actually, she got himself. Uh, okay, 147 has boots now, but he's really not tanky. And one nuke from Dandy and he's dead basically. And he got the bling Dandy, that makes him a really nice ganker. Makes him a killer, man. Level 4, a killer. nuke, and killing everything. Yeah, it's uh... What was I What was I trying to say? I didn't even know that, man. If you, if, if the guy that you're stunning was Sand King... He can't... If it's level 4 stun, then the duration is enough. He can't cancel the epicenter. Cool. Even if he pulls a Ravage, the epicenter is started. So... I feel like such a noob now, I really didn't know that. Well, you need someone to cancel the epicenter for you, for example, Puppy coming with a, a stun of Centaur or even the Troll Knight, and that, then you're fine, but... It's a misplay from Light of Heaven to try to use his Ravage, I mean, you know he's level... Um, he's level 7, so level 4 stun, so it's useless to pop the Ravage. Mm -hmm. You're dead anyway. Yeah. Havas on level 8, 60 last hits on him, is he actually the leader of the pack? Yes, he is! 62, and only 51 on black. He's going for Battle Fury build, most likely with his Thing of Hells. It's very common build on Juggernaut. Juggernaut is a very strong hero. Ulti. Yeah, you can splash the damage when you're ulti in a team fight, so it's really good build. It's not only, and of course, it accelerates your farm as well. And you might want to keep up with the ultimates farm this game. And top lane, they want to dive more. Sexy Bamboo with, with the double damage going in, killing Puppy like nothing, like nobody's business. Light of Heaven also with the ultimate. But they gotta be careful, now he turns around and uses the ultimate, but due to the disruption, Sex Bimbo unaffected by this, he has the ultimate as well, he's gonna stun, maybe into the epicenter. Oh, but he drops, Dendi's here with the blink, and the level 4 nuke, and come with me, he drops right after. 1 for 3 they exchange, Mouse Sports lose 3, and only Chen down for Na'Vi, and Tier 1 tower on top is gonna drop, and Na'Vi are on their way now for the championship title here in the Star Ladder LAN event, if Sing Sing doesn't make something big happen right now. This is just all plays, I mean, uh, Na'Vi actually did a mistake, a pretty huge one. They disrupted the Sand King and um, used the Ravage at the same time. That means that Sexy Bumble was, like, I don't know if it was Light of Heaven's fault or maybe A's fault, I don't know, but he wasn't stunned, so they saved the Sand King. But, so Moss was in a really good position to fight. They were, they were about to win the fight, but 
that was Dendy with the blink, he can be top so fast. Like face boots and blink, he he's top. Like he can go from him to top in maybe I don't know ten seconds. So he came there and turned the fight around with a huge nuke and get got three kills for Nadi and it wasn't really looking good for them. So really props to Dendy for this this move. He gave them three kills and a power. Dendy plays a really good Rubik too. He plays him in a way that he does not expose himself into a situation where his low HP uh, gives him trouble. Like yeah, he doesn't his tank. Positioning is really good. Yeah. And you will see he will get only positioning item in Rubik. He's gonna get four staff and dagger, most likely. Or even you will set to I mean everything to keep him safe and to make sure that he will steal a spell and use it properly in the fight. Mm -hmm. What's sexy Bambo doing, man? There's an invisibility rune, he doesn't go for it. He saw it? That's a bit weird. I guess maybe he didn't see it it's night. Uh, maybe okay. he was just not in vision. I'm not sure. Oh, he had the ward vision. Actually, I don't know. I don't know what happened. And Sing Sing, he has been quiet this game so far. He is maybe catching up on his phone. But yeah, as you said, he has to do something. Man, great play here from Navi. Black gets Telekinesied up exactly where he actually blinks too. Soul catcher still up on him. So much damage from Dendi can just blink right after him. Actually, does he have a blink? Yes, he still has it. And now Sexy Bambo in big trouble as well. Nukes fly out. He goes invisible. Is there any true side? Doesn't look like it. Puppy going for a mech, by the way. 200 gold is left. What is what he needs. And come with me. His time is coming. Is coming. He needs uh, to get some good black holes. And so does Sexy Bambo with the epicenters. They need to make something happen for most sports. And Sing Sing on the bottom lane. The tier 1 tower is still standing, Light of Heaven is just able to hold it right there. That's the problem with Iron Tower sighting. Light of Heaven can just, can just spam his spells and... I mean, of course, you, you could say Sing Sing should push, but he can't. If he send the spiders, it's just extra front for Iron Tower. Iron Tower doesn't care, it's... What's the cooldown on this? It's 4 seconds, he just spams the entrance smash and just kills spiders, so... If Sing Sing wants to push, he needs to wait Iron Tower to do something on the map, else he can't. Or he would just give him extra farm and extra XP, and that's really not good. So what Sing Sing can do at this point is farm his jungle. Farm the lane and farm the jungle with spiders and out farm everyone on the map. That's the power of good mother if you can't flash. Yeah, Navi is still winning in terms of gold and experience. So this is looking very good for them. Dandy Rubik still working out very well for them. Chen is on his way to a mech. He has it. Just has to send it out. Just That's has to send mech. it out to him. Yeah, it is incredibly fast. 14 minutes in and Black trailing behind a little bit. Only 1k gold. It, Man, that seems it seems unreal. There must be items on the chicken or something. For uh, for who? For black? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he got uh, 70 lasted, but no tower. So that's not a lot. I mean, of course it's a lot, but it's a perseverance and 1k gold and magic wand and boots. I mean, you get the gold from the towers as well. Look, Navi, they got one. This is three towers for Navi, so. Obviously they're gonna get more farm and you're gonna see more items. You can see the gold difference. It's 3k in the way of Navi and it's a lot 3k in 10 minutes. Sexy Memo going in with the epicenter. And there's also Come With Me with a great stun. Two TPs coming in, but a great black hole from, from uh, Come With Me as well. But there's no follow-up damage because the epicenter is already gone. And now the epi uh, the Ravage goes out and Come With Me is gonna drop for sure. I don't know if that black hole was really that great from Come With Me now. At least he prevent the... If you black hole the target... Uh, actually, it was because Hobos had his ultimate, so it prevented him from using it. But if you black hole the target under his tower, you also make sure that the TPs, when when the TP is ready, you, they're gonna be into the black hole, so they can't cast a spell there. Yeah. They're disabled as well, so that's that, that's okay. Okay, so correct decision now from Bambo to go for the black hole there, else they would would have maybe not gotten the kill if uh, Havos would have gotten out the level one uh, Omni Slash. But, uh, yeah, and it's huge damage. I mean, you can, yeah, he can solo kill Enigma, that's for sure. But he can maybe even like do huge damage to Saint King and Enigma. I mean, he got huge damage as well. He got Perseverance and Broadsword already. It was Faves, Face Boots, and it's it's three slashes with crits. He killed crits as well. So. 2.6k gold damage. now on Brute Mother. What do you think is she gonna go for? An Orchid or something else? I mean, it's a really tough choice for. From mother at this point, you need BKB obviously because of the Titan Hunter and the Shadow Demon. But Omni Slash doesn't like it goes to BKB. So I think Orchid is a really good choice against Juggernaut, especially. Bambo has his Blink Dagger ready, and Black is the only hero right now that's trailing behind in farm. He needs to catch up 870 HP, and no big farming or damage item on him right now. He needs to be able to uh, 
have that carry potential on his team compared to Juggernaut on the other side's team. So they got to make something happen now. And now smoke into the Roshan pit. And uh, the only thing that can tell Mouse that this is happening is maybe the spiders. Yes, great play from Sing Sing. Sending out the spider. And now they know what's up. And they are relatively close. They could go. But they still walk toward the top lane. Black and the Crystal Maid, they, they will not go for Roshan. And that's good because they know Tyrant Tyrant the Rabbit and they have sent King Accent already with Dagger Admiral. It's just their decision. They don't want to take the risk to lose a fight now. They feel like they're maybe behind because of the towers, but they're still in the game. And I mean, fair enough, they're farming a lot as well. You can see three heroes near to 100 CS, that's a lot. So, Mossport is definitely not getting out front. I, I Bambo in the middle lane gets whirled up. But then he's able to blink himself away in time. But Dendi has a haste rune, so Bambo has to be very, very careful. Uses Sandstorm. Dendi still chasing. Bambo down to 50 HP. Strikes himself away and he does survive. So great play from him. Yeah, very nice play. Huh? BKB on Brute. Yeah, actually, Mossport is out farming Navi so far. But Navi got more towers and more kills. So the gold graph is in Navi's, Navi's farm. But strictly speaking of last hit, it's small, it's small sport that's winning. That's maybe why they're not, they don't want to force team fight. They feel like they got the better game. Items coming up for, for Black, and it is the Battle Fury, so he does have it in 18 minutes in, so that's okay. Just gotta make sure the chicken gets there safely, man. Watch out for it. And now, it's just about time. Navi needs to do something. It's the same game with Moscow Fire yesterday. Navi had the advantage, they have almost all the towers. They just need two, to, uh, two towers yet left. They have, they have Rush, they have Farm, and Black is beginning to farm a lot. So Navi needs to do something. It really that is the game, same thing. Control the map. Yeah, it's the same game. We'll see if Mouse can... Of course not the same game, and I mean the same type of game. We'll see if Mouse can hold. Yesterday they managed to hold and they won the game eventually. Yeah, when we say same type of game, it's yesterday. It just came down to the fact that Mouse Boys had more slots on their heroes. And yeah, they have it. End, yeah. And they have anti-mage, they have brute mother. so if it comes to the very, very late stages, then uh, it is Mouse Boys that would come out on top. And that's very smart from most people what they're trying to do here with Sand King and CM Smoke. They're like, okay, uh, Enigma is farming really aggressively, someone might want to TP and defend, and when, he, when they do so, we're just gonna kill him under his tower. But Navi, they, they never get caught like this. So smoke from Navi, here we go! Ravos knows what's up because bam, his smoke got dispelled. They have a... Is there a gem on someone? Yes, there's a gem on Shadow Demon. So now, oh great blink away from Black, but two blinks right after him, and down he goes! Oh man, the Ravage misses everything! Wasted ma Ravage now from uh, Navi and a great epicenter actually here from Sexy Bo. He's into all the heroes, but he's all by himself and down he goes. Man, that is such a sad engagement. Yeah, and again, the Ravage was really wasted, but still they win the fight big time. Really nice play by Dendier. He waited anti mage to use the blink, then he had vision on him and he stole the blink, blinked in next to him, so they could put some like more damage or something and they kill him. And they even kill Enigma top. Oh, and man. they push me at the same time, so really super play by Navi. They, they attack and they defend at the same time and they win on every board. Oh man, what a sad, sad situation right now from Mouse Sports. And what a great play from Navi winning the team fight in spite of that Ravage missing completely. Sing Sing is here, so now he has to make those 10 seconds magic immunity count. He's going in. So is Black. He gets drawn up into the air. Blink is stolen again from Dendi. Spins so himself into the air. Navi is still hanging around right now. We'll see if they're gonna back out. Ravos still in the front lines. The ward is there. Pings go out from Bambo. He says, get that freaking ward. It's too strong right now. But, uh, yes, blinking from Bambo. Stunned back. Great play. Awesome play. And Ravos is there. His ultimate is down. Ultimate is on Sing Sing. But he has the BKB as well as his own ultimate. Now they gotta be careful. Man, Ravos gets hit by the mech, but it is not enough. He lo use loses his Aegis and he will be back and he has no real escape mechanism. Stun from Come With Me, amazing play. He's looking for the black hole for of his life. But uh, Mouse Sports, again, uh, Navi now backing off, but they will be able to pick them off one by one maybe. Arzard drops, Puppy is stunned, Come With Me going around, Malphys is ready, blocks him with the body, and Puppy is also going to drop. Down he goes. Two heroes dead now for Navi and uh, Mouse Sports defend their high ground and uh, do a really good job in that. Yeah, this is exactly what they need. They need to win fights like this. Well, it wasn't really such a, a good fight for them because before they pushed in from Navi, they killed four of most of heroes, so it's still okay. And that's the power of Shen as well, uh, sending back Juggernaut even if he dove really far in, in the base. So he didn't die. That's really good for them.
Well, actually, guys, uh, thanks for pointing that out, guys. I have uh, an arrow in my overlay. It's actually two for Navi, not one for Mouse. Sorry, guys. Gotta fix that quickly. And the BKB from Blue Mother didn't work as well. And he got a javelin, so that's maybe a Monkey King Bar or a Basher. I'm not sure. That's very unusual from a Blue Mother. Yeah, interesting thing, man. He doesn't even go for the Orchid. Doesn't want to really get that silence. Just want to get the damage and the own magic immunity. Yeah, he. I'm. I don't know. I'm looking forward to see what item he gets. He sold the. And he still sort of need to get some damage item for sure. And this is looking good and for Mouseport so far. Anti Mage farming up with a Battle Fury, and he's getting some good gold right now. He might be going for a Manta style next, and Six Lambo also farming up. I think he's going to go for an Aghanim Scepter. Brute Mother is going for the damage. But and Na you can see Navi smoked. Yeah. Navi smoked up again. Dandy with a haste. Havost is the bait on the bottom. No one is there from Mouseport, so except for Bambo, uh, for Sing Sing. There's a sentry. Yeah, Navi, they don't want to let anti just farm like this. Quick reaction from Dendi, throwing Brute into the air. Even the Ravage used a big crit from Hovaz gets the kill on Sing Sing. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to kill this one. Here are the BKB on CD. Should just be, pop his BKB and TP away. Uh, I don't know, maybe the timing from Navi was perfect with the Tendekinesis into the Ravage, I'm not sure. If it was, then he's dead, of course. But if it wasn't, he should pop his BKB and try to escape this. Anyway, Brute is dead and they're pushing him. And they have... Actually, Mopo got left, they're fine so far. Oh, 1437 drops immediately. What a bad position for him. They just blink in and kill him. And now the tier 3 on bottom gets pressure. On the top lane, we have Black going at it. He can TP back if he needs to. And I think he will have to. In oh, man. Blink Dagger now and come with me. Where's Black? They need him right now. Look at Dendi. He's playing super aggressive. Oh. Because he got two blinks. Come with me. Looks sweet. Yes, yes. He's got two blinks. That's pretty, pretty crazy. And now the racks are under attack. Come. There comes Bambo, channeling the black at the epicenter, goes in, stuns in afterlight of heaven. He doesn't have the ultimate left though. Mech goes from Navi, great positioning from Navi as well. Not giving come with me a good chance for for the black hole. Now is his chance, maybe on just two heroes, but they're using all the ultimates and Sing Sing is still dead. And now so is Sand King. And here comes an epicenter gets immediately cancelled. What was that? Centaur stun, Centaur stun. Or oh. even throw net, I'm not sure. I think it's the net from Puppy. This is insane micro here. Yeah. Insane micro by Puppy. Instantly, I think. He landed the net, like commonly blinked in, and the, the half a second before he casted the black hole, the net was already casted by Puppy. So insane play by Puppy in here. I think and Puppy again, already had his had a skill from the creep selected and was just waiting with the mouse. Might be, might be. And you can see Navi's power here. They backed off. They acted like they want to back because of, of they saw the epicenter casted and everything. So they backed off, and then instantly, then all they all turned again and just. Killed Sun King in half a second and kill as well Anti Mage and Broodmother. Really nice team play. Oh no, send back from Chen and the disruption as well. What an amazing combination, actually. It works. What a good course, play. Yeah, it's awesome. Really, Navi is just showing why they are the top, like the number one team in the world in Dota 2 right now. What a play, man. What a play Navi is portraying right here in the grand final of the Star Ladder. And you know, Today with AC, shout out to him in case he should be watching this, um, we cast a DK and they are really, really strong. And this is going to be, man, and then MTW and all these teams for the International 2, it's going to be so epic. It's really going to be epic. It's really going to be epic, man. It's going <laughs> to be is. so sick. It is. Abby is playing awesome. I mean, I, honestly, I don't think a team can challenge him, at least not in this event. They're playing one step ahead of everyone. You can see the teamwork is just... It's wonderful, honestly. It's perfect execution. Every like the disruption into this the TP home by Chen, the way they fight as a team, as one man. It's one man fighting almost. Mm -hmm. And they're five heroes, so really awesome play from them. Juggernaut out carrying the anti mage because his teammates are just there and have his back. Now they go in toward the mid. They want to get the range barracks as well. We got two sides up right now. One and a half sides. And black trying to get the most farm he can. I think he used a buyback in the fight. Could that be? I'm not sure. I I, I didn't notice. Might be. Might be. I'm not sure. He's really close to his mana style. He needs it badly. But again, as you said, Juggernaut is a way. He like he got way more farm. Not not because of the CS. Yeah, they got the same crit kill. It's because of the the towers and of course the set of racks that Navi just took. Yeah. Man, this is just some 
Really intense play from Navi so far. It's it's really a pleasure to watch these guys compete. And for some reason, before the final, you know that you know Navi. They are the juggernauts, and uh, no one, or barely anyone, can challenge them at this point. But for some reason, Mouse Force has the sympathy bonus, and they came in here. They fought hard their way into the final, so they very much deserve their spot in the finals. But now they're one and a half sides down, and it's going to be very very tough for them to get themselves back into this game. But hey. They have a brood, and they have an epicenter. They have a black hole, and they have an anti mage with the battle fury. So all things should be open. Um, they smoke up again. Navi does, and they go into the Roshan pit just as he's about to spawn. Great timing here from Navi. Perfect timing actually. And uh, well, we'll see. We'll see how this is gonna go because Navi's team play is just too immense. Uh, come with me. Had no chance in landing a decent ultimate here. Yeah, exactly. And now this is the, the turning point of the game. Navi is gonna push in for a final push. And it's the exact game. Last yesterday, Moscow was one side behind, and then they won the game. After 30 minutes of turning, basically. Let's see if they can do this again. It's gonna be really hard, that's for sure, and I'm amazed by Dendy's play. He got Bling Dagger and Anti Mage Bling. He's so mobile on the map, it's just not even funny. I mean, he can go to the mid lane in 3 seconds now. Look at his move movement speed, like from the U Scepter and the Face Boots, and two Blings. It's you just imagine an anti mage with a blink dagger, it's like he can run on the map wherever he wants. It's really really look at this, I mean yeah, it's so fast. I'm following him with my it camera. Just, that, that's so nice. It's Oh, and immediately she actually come with you. This looks so sick, gets pulled back. The damage so much tries to heal himself up, but Puppy with his insane Chinese micro there stuns him in place and down he goes. No buyback on Enigma, I think. No no buyback on him. Yeah, it's a play from Mavi, but mainly a misplay from coming me. He's really out of position. I don't know what he's thinking. He's like, <coughs> his teammates are already in the base, and he's standing in the river on the mid lane. Well, he's dead now. Thirty seconds before he spawns, and yeah, Moss got a Moss put got a glyph, so they can hold for ten seconds more. But then they have to defend without anyone for ten seconds. It's gonna be really hard. It's gonna be super hard, and then it's one range barracks away from Mega Creeps after they get this. Again, Sexy Bambo is outside of the map, basically. Level 2, Epicenter. He's gonna channel it really soon. They wanna start a fight before Enigma TP's in, so he can... Oh, Light of Heaven, they know. Wow. And this is game. This is game. How? I have no idea how. Experience. They know that he can't be on the right, right? Because they have vision on the right because of the creep. So he's on the left. Or he's just not here. Look at Havast. His model for me. Is dead, but he's he's killing people. And he has come with me the big ult one on two heroes. Dendi walks into it as well. Sing Sing tries to do as much damage as he can. Puppy might fall to it. He does. Only one hero dead so far. AA, he bought that ghost scepter just for this purpose. And Dendi now turns away, kites around Sing Sing. The BKB wears off, and now Sing Sing under attack greatly. Stun from Chen as well, man. Puppy is dead, but he has his creeps, and that's enough. There's a team wipe. GG well played, and, and Navi the wins the Star Ladder land championship. 3-0 to zero against Mouse Sports, showing that they are the number one team in Dota 2 at the moment. And that any team that wants to claim this title from them will have to beat them in the grand finals of the upcoming International 2. And that is why this Aegis of Champions is right here on both sides of the map. Navi from Ukraine. Best team around. Yeah, Navi just dominated this land. <laughs> Nothing else can be said. They just won every single game they played. They lost, I think, one game and it was 80 minute games. And I'm not even sure they should have lost it. They had like 15k gold lead maybe or something. Just Navi being Navi and winning everything. Just props to them. Wow. Well, all the, f all the teams that tried to get into the finals were fighting so hard against each other. Just to make then, it into here. Only to get destroyed Navi. by Navi. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you get 80 minute games. That's what we were saying like yesterday basically. It's like... Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Moscow 5, Moscow 4, 2 1, and then Navi 3 0. Just end of the story. Man. Alright. Put you guys over here. Guys, that's it. Navi, still the champions of the Star Ladder in Kiev. They do not lose their title. They win against Moscow Sports 3 to 0. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Uh, please check out epicommentary.com. Actually, let me put you guys back to the in game. Here's that. Uh, Throne going down right now. And the endgame stream is coming up as well. So the throne, the ancient went down, dire victory. Navi gonna be partying hard tonight. And there you go, the endgame screen. Dendi playing a sick ass Rubik. 
double blink, Yule Scepter, initiating anywhere on the map when he wants, Tidehunter, Ravage, not even needed, still winning the team fights, and Mouse Wars put up a good fight in both both uh, both games, but Navi just a couple of levels ahead, and uh, well, they they deserve it. They deserve to be the champions. They work hard. They practice harder, and. Uh, Puppy, just a good captain, and all the individual players just really, really highly skilled. Props to them. Congratulations to Navi for winning this. And uh, thank you all very much for watching. My name is Epi. Go to epicommentary.com, please. And uh, there you can find me on my social uh, my social websites. For example, facebook.com slash epicommentary or twitter.com slash epicommentary. Please follow me there or like me there. I would really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys again soon. I'll hang out with you guys in the RSC after this. Fucking mad. Really appreciate you tuning in, and so do the viewers. It's been a pleasure having you again. Do you have any shout-outs, good sir? Yeah, again, shout-out to all the Dota players, all the Dota lovers, all the viewers, to my team and my sponsor. All right. So I'll stop the recording, guys, and I will see you guys uh, in the IRC right after this.